Hello and good afternoon. How is everyone today? This is Friday Night Treats with Tina the Keto Coach. Yes, um, and I just wanted to say this past Wednesday I didn't get a chance to put out a reminder or a notification like I normally do. We had some computer issues in the area where I live, so <laughs> whatever. But a lot of you know that I'll be here on Fridays unless I indicate that I won't for whatever the reasons anyway. So thank you for tuning in, or if those of you that have to catch this later on, that's fine. Yes. So today I wanted to just do coffee. You know, sometimes I had someone ask me, can you still drink coffee when you're keto? She, she sees recipes and people drinking coffee, bulletproof coffee and things of that nature. You can, <coughs> excuse me, have coffee with keto and kind of all, but remember, some people may have a sensitivity to the caffeine, not just the stimulation of the caffeine, but the caffeine can also um, cause issues with your um, blood sugar readings and glucose and all of that stuff, A1C and everything. It can have that effect. So the alternative is decaf coffee, which is, which is what I drink, but of course I make them all nice and fancy and everything and stuff. So you can still have that, but be mindful. If you're someone that has sensitivity to the caffeine and that could include also chocolate <coughs> particularly coffee especially these coffees that I have on my display that my husband ordered from a company in Puerto Rico so he orders a lot of things that you know things that help him with his childhood memory you know what I mean um, things that hit him and his family his mom loved dealing with coffee because they drink coffee from from a child on up you know it's a part of the culture and everything so I don't really I don't drink these because they have caffeine and for me they are a little bit strong so, but those of you that can drink them have added look at the names of them see if you can order it and just go ahead and enjoy I don't get paid for this I'm just you know demoing it and just showing this to you so I'm going to move these out of the way right now so we can get on with making this coffee and put this on the side Yes, so I have my regular old decaffeinated coffee and I have the instant decaf that I use at home. I already have my sweetener here. I make a combination of the, um, the stevia brown and the white sweetener because it's granulated. I'll go ahead and put it in my um, coffee grinder that I specifically use to powder down my granulated sweetener for different things. So I have that here for you. So the first thing I want to do. Oh. Another looks well, I, you know, I'll tell you throughout the <laughs> when I'm doing this. Just want to show you just basic, plain, old fashioned, regular, reg as I say, regular, smegular coffee. Just that's it, you know. So, of course, I have a carrot and I use one of these, you know. I go ahead and fill this up. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Fill it up. Put my little snap thing on. And I'm just going to have this cup, you know. And this will be ready in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Rather fast. So that's already brewing. And because I do, I'm the person in the house to do the decaf, I like um, cold brew coffee. Yes, there is a difference between cold brew and iced coffee. Iced coffee is basically they just make the coffee like what I'm doing over here. They just make plain old coffee. And what they do is um, just um, put ice over it. Let it cool down a little and put ice over it. But I like cold brew. It's a little stronger. So I have a this nice cold brew um, pitcher that I have. I love this thing. So how you make that and what I do when I make cold brew coffee for me this lasts me a few days I'll go ahead and um, make this and let, usually let it sit overnight so this is the filter for this let me fill in the filter you can order these from Amazon and I usually fill it up you know and that, that's about See those big heaping, big heaping of coffee that I'm putting in here. However, how strong you like, like I always say, don't be afraid to experiment with stuff. 
till you get it the way you want it for you. You may not like it the way I have it. And that's fine, everybody's different. So what I do is take this, put that in there, and add my water. I just use regular old water from my faucet, that's it. I'm going to pour that in here. And I'll let this sit since this is the afternoon. This will be perfect for a good Friday evening while you're Netflixing it and chilling, you know? See, it's already. And if you want to use other types of water, if you got bottled water, spring water, distilled water, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that too. That's not a problem. Plenty of coffee, especially this type, this time of year. If you don't want regular hot coffee, you can go ahead and have your cold brew. So this is cold brew. I think it's so much better. And what I like to do is lift this up and shake it a little bit so it can blend even more. Try to watch how much I can fill up here. So this is full. And I'm going to take my lid. See? That's going to be my cold brew coffee for the weekend. Put this in a refrigerator. And one thing about the cold brew canister, you want to make sure that you take the filter out when you're ready to serve it and um, put that on the side. I have a large cup like I just used to put the water in and take that large filter out and just shake it up and just put it in, drop it in here and then put the, um, the lid back on so you can serve your coffee because you don't want grains in your coffee. And this is what we end up with. Put this on the side, my decaf, remember decaf, decaf. Yes, so this is my cold brew coffee here. And I'm gonna show you something else. I went to that, I don't know if I can say the name, that coffee shop that we all love that had the little, the mermaid. <laughs> emblem on it and I was able to actually purchase the straw the lid and the cup for just 57 cents because sometimes when you're trying to watch your diet and change your lifestyle so it's a mind thing so you want to do everything possible that you can as far as what your intake is to eat at least make it at least visually appear like you're doing or drinking or having the same thing that you did when you went out and purchased it at that particular place, whether it's your favorite dessert or your favorite beverage, you know, whatever have you. And I found this great caramel syrup that I'm going to use too. And I used to love the caramel, what is it, macchi macchiato that the, the particular place makes. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to go ahead and do this to the bottom of this because I like my coffee to even my decaf, it really tastes as if it's not decaf. So I'm going to take like a, just a tablespoon. Make sure I have the right amount. This and a little bit of water. Put a little bit of water in there. And a little bit of my sweetener. Grab one of my cute little spoons. And this is all to your own taste. Don't feel like you have to do something special or spectacular. It's how you would make it. And in here, see I have one of these. Now I don't know how this will work. Uh, probably not. <laughs> I was going to try to make the um, 
the syrup at the bottom, but I have it. It's, you don't have to use this, so that is okay. I'm going to add some more sweetener to this part because I like mine to really taste like caramel. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get some ice. Here is my ice. I'm going to get my cold brew. Pour this in. About halfway. And then I'm going to take my heavy whipping cream. You know that, guys. And that's about a cup. I'm going to add my sweetener. And this is definitely a dessert. It will taste like a caramel macchiato, but a little on the strong side, for sure. And I have these butterscotch drops, stevia drops that I like. Squeeze some of that in there. And the next thing we're going to do is let it rip. Let's see. have plenty of ice in here, that's for sure. Okay, looks like we got something here. I'm going to put all of this stuff on the side. And I'm going to add a little bit of my, like they do in, the, in that particular establishment, a little bit of my caramel sauce. See that? How do you do it? See, anything you get out, you can make at home. Not a problem. And, and I'm going to pour. Oh, this looks good. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. I'll get my spoon. And I'm going to rake this in here. Oh, it's like an icy. It's like a slurp. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we're really cooking here. See, I made a mess. Oh, I got it in my hair. <laughs> but that's okay. Cooking and getting your life right is supposed to be fun. Not a problem. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. And you know me, I like to get all of it. Got some on my blouse, but that's okay. Look, leave it in my hair. <laughs> that is okay. Oh, I forgot about this. See, this is what, when you're live cooking, anything can happen. Okay. And what I want to do, one of my, um, I guess my whipped creamers isn't working, but you can still make your own whipped cream inside of um, this. So I'm going to take my cream again. Yes, when you keto, you can have all of this fat. It is okay. See my Instagram family out there saying hello to me. Not filling that up. Just a little bit. Some of my sweetener. And a little bit of this stevia drop, the butterscotch flavor. I love it. 
Let's see what we come up with. Blend it around some. It made it. Let me get my spatula. Just a little bit. If I want more, I can make more. Uh, wow. Look at that. Get it all, every bit. Now, if you want more, you can always make more whipped cream. Not an issue, not a problem. If you want more, some people don't like a whole lot of whipped cream. For me, usually I do, but for this, I like for my coffee to taste like coffee. Look at that. See? Look at that. What? Get out of here. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, I forgot one thing. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of this caramel syrup. This is sugar free. On top of that. Really? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I have to get me another whipper for my whipped cream. This makes it whip, but I need a little bit more. But I know y'all got things to do and places to go. Look at this. Keto, venti size, caramel, coffee, macchiato. You can have this too. See? Mm. this is so so good it tastes exactly like the caramel macchiato yes so if you all have any questions or if you want to get the exact way to make this which isn't hard mm. just let me know oh I forgot and those of you that just want plain old regular black coffee, here it is from the decaf. It's plain regular black. And the way I make my coffee, it tastes basically the same as regular, regular coffee. <clears throat> so like I said, thank you all for joining me. This is Tina the Keto Coach, Friday Night Treats with Tina. Feel free to contact me, um, DM me if you have questions or whatever. Or if you have recipe ideas, something I can convert and change into something else, I'd be more than happy to do that. Because <coughs> that helps us all, for sure. And like I said, I like to cook live because we want to see what, every, what everything is and how it actually works and what the real deal is because we want to make life simple and not complicated. Thank you once again for watching me. This is Tina the Keto Coach, Friday Night Treats with Tina. You all have a fun and fabulous, safe, happy weekend. Love you all. Bye-bye.